today is all about the legs and I love legs. Love legs, love, love, love legs. So we're doing a lot of lunge variations. We're gonna be doing a lot of cool things and our timing today is 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. You'll need some equipment, but just kind of keep it to the side because we're not gonna need it the entire time, okay? Mostly relying on body weight today. So at the, at the clock, let's start with a wide squat. So two heel toes out, toes pointed out. Let's go. Nice. So core is super, super tight. Chest is lifted. We're gonna come back and up. Nice. How do we, how do we squat? Like we're doing, we're peeing in the woods, okay? So your bum comes far back behind you and down. Nice. As you come up, squeeze so, so hard, really putting a lot of work into those glutes because that's where we want the squat. You'll feel it through the entire leg, but the focus is when we come up and we squeeze those glutes, okay? Hands are off the body, no cheating, none of this. They're just gonna be out in front of you, or if you want them, you can put them on your hips. Okay, but again, none of this. Because it looks weird. <laughs> Don't be that guy. Get your hands off your legs. <laughs> just kidding, okay. Alternating lunges, we're gonna be stepping forward, and when we set up a lunge, we start with our feet at 90 and we come up, okay? We are gonna be doing two rounds of this, this day, this workout. And so if you wanted to set up the one leg and just go up and down on the one leg for one round, alternate for the next one, that's super great. Maybe take note which leg you did, because <laughs> you might not, I don't know, maybe you might. Or you could just have one really buff leg. Do it two times. <laughs> but don't ever fear if you need to set it up and step back. Set it up, step back, okay? Nice. Exhale up, exhale up. Two and one, nice. This next one is called a curtsy lunge, okay? Same idea, foot is gonna come back behind you at an angle, okay? Keeping that stride nice and far back behind you, okay? Trying as hard as you can to keep this knee in line with that ankle, okay? So down and alternate. Nice. This focus is all in the glutes, okay? So make sure as you come up, you're really, really focusing on squeezing those glutes all the way up. Something else I want you to check with any lunge is that we're not rocking or leaning forward. Sometimes we do this. I don't want you to bow down to me, thank you, but I'd rather you just come straight down and straight up. Same with those curtsy lunges, straight down and straight up. That way you're not putting extra weight on that knee. We don't want any weight on the knee, just the muscles around it. Goblet squats. You're going to grab a weight. I'm pretty sure this is how you hold the goblet because that's how you do a goblet squat. Squat down and up, okay? So when you walk into the banquet, grab your goblet at the party, <laughs> come back to your seat. You're gonna be the coolest person there. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gonna wanna be at your table, I promise. <laughs> so carrying it just right here at chest level, keeping that body nice and tall. Try not to let that weight pull you forward, okay? Just keep it nice and tall, down and up. Hips come back and down. So good. Three, two, and one. Very nice. We are gonna be holding onto those weights. I would grab a lighter weight maybe. You're gonna hold your weights here at shoulder level. We're gonna be not hip distance, just one heel toe wider. Toes pointed forward. You're gonna come down, press straight up, okay? I'm even gonna go lighter. Nice. So again, everything stays in a nice straight line. Your face is gonna follow the rest of your spine, keeping it in a nice straight line, coming up and straightening those, or those arms and the legs, I guess. 
the legs of the lower body, the legs of the upper body. <laughs> Five more seconds. Keeping that core so tight and time. Very nice. Now, if you wanted to grab weights again, you can. We're gonna be doing a narrow squat. So this time, hip distance apart. Shoulders come up, back and down. We come down, and then we're gonna raise up into a calf raise, okay? These are super fun. Nice combination movement to really work the front and the back of the legs. The calf is right there. And so anytime you raise up, that's what you're working. Down and up. <sighs> Smiles are on, because it's leg day. <laughs> Some people don't like leg day. I don't get it. It's probably because they've never really done a leg day. <laughs> Anytime you work your legs, you're gonna love it. <laughs> awesome. Take it down. We're gonna finish with our glutes for this round and then we're gonna do all that one more time. Going into donkey kicks. So you're down, hands and knees. You're gonna kick straight back behind you, okay? If you visualize a donkey, they don't kick up and back, like you'll see this sometimes. I've seen a donkey in real life, they don't kick like that. They kick back behind them because they're, if they kick, they're mad, right? So, flexing your heel, flex that foot and kick straight back behind you. Okay, very nice. And that way, it's just a whole lot more control on the movement and a lot more contraction in the glute, and that's what we want. For a nice perky bum. And keeping the weight nice and even between those two hands and the one supporting leg. Very nice. Now we're doing the other leg. So again, nice flex, strong foot. Core is tight, don't let your back drop. Being straight back. And you'll feel that right, like, in the center and under of the bum. That's where you wanna feel it. Make sure that you're really thinking about that muscle so you're getting it in the right place. Nice and tight. A few more seconds here. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Slowly come up, shake it all out. We're gonna be doing wide squats again. So you can grab a weight if you want to, or just hang out right here, body weight. Hands are off the body again. Two heel toes, nice and wide, toes pointed out. Down and up. Focusing really hard on squeezing the glutes all the way up. Squeeze. <laughs> Squeeze. <laughs> all the way. And so when you're ready, you can always take this, this, take this form to the gym, okay? You just would hold the bar behind you. But having the practice of this motion and knowing where to squeeze, where to push up, where to lift that weight from, right? The heels up through the glutes. Totally get you ready for perfect squats. Alternating lunges. You can grab some weights if you want. You don't have to. Should be a little toasty now, right? Good. <laughs> now again, just like we said last time, check your form. Are you going straight up and down? I like to relate lunges to a piston in a car, okay? They go straight up and down, right? They pump straight up and down. 
So you wanna visualize that straight up and down. Try not to lunge forward or to bend here first. Think about bending that back knee first and standing straight up. That's gonna get you a perfect lunge. Bend that back knee first, standing straight up. Up and down. <laughs> and time. Very nice. Curtsy lunges. Foot's gonna come back behind you. Because remember, we are at a banquet. We did do the goblet squats. It's only polite to curtsy <laughs> and call a whole lot of attention to yourself right before you go to the banquet, grab your goblet, squat back to your seat. So you're welcome. Etiquette lessons <laughs> by trainer Andy. <laughs> and Marissa too, because that was. Oh, okay. <laughs> Keep it <this> straight. <laughs> nice. Really focusing. You're going to feel a little bit in that front of the quad, okay? It's just right there above the knee. You should not feel it in the actual knee, just the muscles right by it and the glutes. And one. Nice. Like we were preparing for, we're mentally there. That's dangerous, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, there we go, <laughs> I couldn't remember. It's a wide squat, not a full, full wide squat. Just a little wider, down and up. This time our toes are pointed forward. Your majesty, <laughs> no. <laughs> I take everything back. Do bow down. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> down and up. And same idea as those lunges. Straight up and down. Really squeeze those abs. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Nice. Grab a lightish or medium weight for those squat presses. Narrow, one heel toe out, right here. Down and up. Driving through the heels, okay, to get that weight up. Use those legs, okay? It's not two separate movements. As you watch, it starts at the heels and pushes straight through the ceiling, okay? Make sure you're using those, the power that comes from those heels. They come down, and shoot it up. Use those legs, okay? Nice, and same with when you catch it. Let the legs catch the weight. You see that? Cool, right? Hey. <laughs> shoot up, slow down. Two, and one. Very nice. We're now gonna do those narrow squats, so I'm gonna grab some heavier weight just with the calf raise. So hip distance apart, there's a hole right there, <laughs> right there. Head up to a calf raise. Same idea. Let the movement start at the bottom and go continue all the way up into a calf raise. Once you add that calf raise, it really fires up that hamstring, right? Do you feel it? You should feel a nice burn up here, even though we're not really focused on that muscle. But because the body knows that we're gonna engage it by doing this calf raise, it's fired up, it's ready. Three, two, and one. So good. Come down to the floor. No worm. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Coming down to a donkey kick. Again, kicking straight back behind you.
Nice and strong foot placement, super flexed. And again, those hamstrings should be way engaged, <laughs> way engaged at this point. Go on, tiny bonus. Once you fully extend, just kind of gently raise. Hey, feels good, right? So if you want to try that bonus, try it again on this other side. So when you extend, you just add a tiny two inch raise, maybe even two inches, maybe not even that much. Feel a ton of hamstring and glute engagement there. So after this, make sure you take a second, schedule in a minute where you can go buy a new pencil skirt. <laughs> nice and tight on the bum, because I mean you earned it. Make sure you take a second, <sighs> you're done. Take a selfie, check it out back there. Might be new, might be surprising. Always exciting. We will see you next time.